Look, I would say probably one of the biggest highlights is this is the first hydraulic fracturing book that SP has published in 30 years on the topic. It's obviously a topic that's very relevant to many people in this day and age. It's taken a long time to get it done because it's taken a while to just get people who aren't so busy to actually be able to sit down and write that. Um, I think one of the biggest benefits is the fact that we have 26 subject matter experts that have contributed to the book. They are experts in their particular area that they wrote their chapters on, but they're also very much experts in the topic itself, and so they were able to blend a lot of their knowledge into not only their chapters, but we were able to blend it across the book. To make a book that has this type of depth to it, you need that many people involved. We wanted to make sure that we had quality and that sometimes quality can't be hurried. But I think overall the product is, it's worth it. So I think what people will get out of it is it's very forward looking. The idea was we tried to make sure that we covered both conventional reservoirs, unconventional reservoirs, acid fracturing, uh, field operations everything from A to Z in the world of hydraulic fracturing. In a way, I think it is a little bit of a gold standard. And the reason is there's many authors that are involved, but there's a lot of tremendous technical editing, um, not just from myself, but we, we cross uh, edited, we cross technically reviewed um, different chapters. We went out to other reviewers that weren't involved in the book. And so when you look at peer reviewed processes, uh, this book is probably one of the most peer reviewed books that's been out there for a long time. So yeah, I, I think it is a little bit of a gold standard in that area. I think it has a lot of benefit to having it on your bookshelf because it does cover so much of hydraulic fracturing. It doesn't matter if you are um, working as a reservoir engineer and just need some references to a fracturing book or if you're actually working out in the field I think it provides a broad broad benefit between those two points and everything in between so I think there's a lot of benefit to uh, many different engineers many different disciplines that are working in different areas that whether they're working on hydraulic fracturing on a day-to-day -day basis or whether they're working on it um, just occasionally I think there is some tremendous value to having that and to seeing how it ties together with other disciplines.